the Kendi and Rabo podcast, sponsored by Maves and the Garavog Bar. Open up that white hack, will you? Huh? Not very chill. Yeah, I was going to say, would you not have put it in a freezer? Oh, sorry, are both mics working there, Jamesy? Can you see both levels coming up, yeah? And they're not peaking or anything, no? No, that's me now there. So it is. No? No. They're all good? Yeah. Well, that's great, isn't it? It is really in a weird way, yeah. yeah. Now, I have a coffee in one hand and a white hag in the other. Why is that, Ken? So the good news is I'm going to get bull tick on the drink. <laughs> but I'll have the energy to go down to town fighting, which is great. We the, talked about yeah, that last week. It's book fast in two parts. It actually is a little bit, but I start pouring them into each other. <laughs> no, we could be on something nice. here now, Bob. Yeah, yeah. chasing a coffee with a white hag. White hag's new coffee-flavoured beer. Um, Ep- episode 263 for anybody that was wondering. Why you say it like that? Just why did you look at me like that when I you said that? I didn't mean to look oh, because you know that I don't re- understand don't, why. Yeah, why I you always do that. Yeah. yeah. Although I'm wondering, <laughs> could I possibly change the um, the the the, you know, the 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 little logo? Yeah. You know our little faces that just be up on people's car dashboards when they're listening to us. We do have little faces. We yeah. do have little faces, and yeah. I wanted to try and change that for one week only. So I'm going to, have to look into that. To what? To well, we start with it, and so will we. What? Okay. I, I don't like to. Don't like to interrupt the, the flow of it. Okay. But. What is that? You know the way I do buy things. Is that like a little Yoko Mall teaser you get in the airport? Is it, no, it's not. Is it an exact replica of my f- old flute? So, um, <laughs> it's a. Uh, Anyone on Patreon can see it's this like, now. It's, yeah, so if you're it's on personal. Patreon, this is a very Patreon bit, but we'll try our best to describe it. Yeah, for sure. To people uh, not on Patreon. Yeah. But um, this is like, the what I'm holding up is something that would be like a. Uh, it's a cylinder-based parcel. It's, it's like cling film, the end of the cling film roll. Yes. That's what it looks That's like. That's what it looks like. Because it's a, a cardboard roll covered in cling film. Yeah. So I bought this. Okay. Right? And it's a piece of art. Right? Piece of art. Piece. Piece. <laughs> the thing about it nowadays is, like, anything is art-like. Do you know Jackson Pollock? <laughs> if you look up Jackson Pollock, he opened the door for everybody. You could spray shite in the walls and call it art. Yeah, okay. So I was on Facebook one day and I seen this picture and I thought it was the most hilarious thing I'd ever seen. So I immediately went to buy it. Now, it cost €22. Euro, Jesus Christ. Right? And it landed yesterday uh, to our old address in Chapel Street. So I had to go over and collect it um, from the house. Yeah. And I brought it in and, and Laura was like, oh, what's that thing that got delivered to Chapel Street that you shouldn't be sending stuff to Chapel Street anymore? You have a new address. She, well, also, she knows that you might be sending stuff to Chapel yeah, Street. She to keep it away from yeah, her. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I, I bought it from a thing on Etsy and the store oh, is, yeah. is Nixie Clock Store. Nixie Clocks. Nixie Clock Store. You want to be careful the way you say that now. <laughs> Nixie Clock Store. Oh, Nixie Clocks. Right. <laughs> Why would I want to be careful? Just, you might forget an L somewhere along the way. It doesn't matter anyway now. Oh, an yeah. And yeah. An L anyway, and it lands Excel. anywhere. And do you want to know where it landed from? Go on. Uh, Luha- Lutsk, Volinsk, Ukraine. Oh, it came from Ukraine. I bought I bought artwork from Ukraine, which right. is mad because, of course, there's a war happening over there and it's the yeah. marvellous that they're still able to get their stuff out. Still, yeah, in fairness, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Well, it is true, like, I mean, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't take over the whole. So anyway, Laura opened it and was disgusted. I don't, don't say, like, okay, for, hang on, hang on, whoa, whoa. <laughs> But I want to get your opinion yeah, on Yeah, but it. let's slow things down a little bit. Because you're an art connoisseur. Yeah, okay, but before you show me yeah. this art, let's slow things down. So sure. there's a couple of things. Yep. I've just told you there, yep. anything is art now. Hmm. Do you know the value that you put on art is solely based on the reaction that you get? Like art doesn't have any value until you want it. Yeah. So you know the way people say, let's say Van Gogh. Yeah. I don't know any modern artists. Banksy. Yeah. Banksy. Yeah. Your man Banksy. Banksy not he in right. This. <laughs> what? Banksy. Right. Banksy, yeah. Okay. You know Banksy. Yeah. He puts out art on the which spray paints a wall, and yeah. someone says that's now worth six million. Yeah. And I go. No, it's not, because I don't want it. Do you know what I mean when I say that? You're out with a power washer getting rid of it. I don't want it, so it's not worth six million. Oh, it's not worth six million to you. It's only worth six ah, million to the person okay. willing to pay six yes. million. Yeah, so I'm that's what sure. art is. Art is what they call, Ray, subjective. Yes. Okay? And a lot of art nowadays, I just want... Laura was very subjective to me. Then, Have you seen this. the art pieces where you get a table like this? Yeah. You cover it in what is called a canvas. Yeah. White canvas. Yeah. And a fella will just throw paint on it. Oh, yeah. And he's like, it's just... I'm letting my emotions out all over. I'm like, that <laughs> someone bought, paid 500 grand then to buy that piece of yeah. shit, you yep. know? And we have this trouble then with the Gestapo Lecce. They're <laughs> fucking trying to ruin the, Mon- the Mona yeah. Lisa and all that. Yeah, but like, what's the Mona it. Lisa worth? Uh, so it's it, priceless. So if the Mona Lisa genuinely gets destroyed by the Gestapo Lecce yeah. people, right? Yeah. Is, does anyone lose house? 
Well, I think humanity loses out. Not really, though, because just picture of an old bitch. We have picture. We've made, made copies of it. It's just an old bitch. Yeah, yeah. and it's and modern pictures of modern it. Modern <laughs> photocopy. It is. It's brilliant. I'll just put another one in there. It looks the same. <laughs> yeah, Do you know what brilliant. I mean? But that's the original. I sure I don't know. Yeah, like, just put it in there. It's yeah. the same thing. You're making fine points. Do you know? Yeah. So it's all, it's not worth anything. You can't put that kind of value on something like art. Yeah. Now, that being said, if you show me a picture of a cock after me getting your respect <laughs> about this, I fucking, <laughs> we're cutting the whole section out, okay? It's not. So uh, what are you about to show me? So what I'm about to show you is, and I'm really sorry for anyone, like I said, I, I might try and put the picture up uh, in some way, shape or form. We'll put it up on our Instagram anyway. For sure. So you'll, you'll get, yeah, it'll <laughs> drag the subject of this week's podcast starts with this. Okay, so, so there's a good um, rollout of it now. It's good. I got the big extra size. I got the extra big <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the big medium, big as you me- said last week. I got the big, I got the extra large. So I'm just going to try and hold it out for you and try and, okay. So if that can be seen on the camera. So, yeah. Can you describe? <laughs> but it's just a bit curly. So, can okay. you describe what you're seeing there now? So, what I, uh, hopefully the camera's <laughs> focusing on that, James. Is it on it? Yeah. For yeah. Patreon people, there, there, about. Yeah. So, can you describe to the listeners at home what you're seeing? So, straight away, it's not as amazing as you think it is because I know what it means. Oh, savage. I think. Yeah. It's, oh, I don't know what it means. Oh. <laughs> Just describe what you say. It's what you a fella. Yeah, up in the top left top hand left. corner. He yeah. has a little suit chain on. He's clearly some like a kind of a barman. Yeah, he's a barman. And what has he got in front of him? An empty glass. He has and an empty shaker. glass and he has a shaker, a okay. cocktail shaker. Yeah. And then the next, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, <laughs> ten images. Yeah. Are him shaking it up and it's a blur. But it's a pure blur because he's flat out. Sh- it's obviously yeah. someone was shaking. The third his- photo. <laughs> Actually, looks like he's playing an accordion. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see that? <laughs> right, okay, okay. Yeah, it looks like he's playing the accordion. Now, Laura, so this is work really yeah, well. Yeah, no, so the rest of it is then him shaking, shaking, so shaking. Someone actually did individual photos um, of not him Not photos, shaking, uh, portraits paintings. while he was in action. And then the last one then is him yeah. having finished and it's absolute vodka and he's yeah. made your cocktail. He's made your cocktail. And do you notice anything different about him? His hair is out of place. Yeah, he's a bit dishevelled. He's a bit dishevelled after making. But I do see that. Uh, do that you notice know anything else? I do see Joey when he's making the cocktails. He gets pure <laughs> flustered pure afterwards. And come here, does Joey have any problems with his clothes after it? Joey he's after losing it. his buttons. The buttons are gone off his shirt. <laughs> is, this, is this a spot to difference? No, it's not about the difference. It just shows you what it takes out of a fella to make a lovely cocktail. You will lose your buttons every time you make a cocktail. Yeah. Uh, so this is um, this piece of beautiful artwork. Yeah. I got. Uh, I want Leave to put it down there for me. I want to put there. that up on our um, on our in our bathroom. Okay, so because I think if you're sitting there having a one or a two, um, you're going to be looking at this. I'd love to, fi- to meet the man that can have a two without having one as well. <laughs> I've never, I've never had a two without ha- making a Sometimes one. Sometimes the two happens and then the one follows. Yeah, because it has to. It's not yeah. possible to go two without one. It is absolutely, I'd love to meet the fella out there who thinks he can go two without one. I'll shake his hand. It's not just fellas, women as well. No one can go two without one, Ray. It's not possible. <laughs> you're only ever, you know the way someone says, I'm going for a number two. Well, you're going for a number two and a number one because you won't be going for two without is one. Is that what the Spice Girls were talking about in the song? With two become one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need a shine <laughs> I can never need a shine yeah, before. before. Need a shine, shine now, out, baby. turn the ball. Yeah, anyway, so this. So I'm going to put this up in the toilet, and I think people, when they're sitting down having a, a one or a two, yeah. that they'll be looking at this, trying to figure it out. And in the time that they're on the toilet, they'll enjoy it. Okay, so can you tell me yeah. what drew you to this? I thought it was hilarious. It starts off with the man about to make the thing, and then there's like paintings of him making it, but they're all blurry. And then at the end, he's all a bit chuck it, and he has he lost it. his buttons. Yeah, he's lost his buttons, and he has a nice cocktail. So, 22 euro. Would you buy it from New York? <laughs> the material on the canvas it's is nice. nice. Yeah, it's nice but material, can yeah. I just say, like, I feel like I'm on that antique show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, if you're on the antique show, <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, "Well, my grandfather gave it to me." They'd yeah. be like, "Your grandfather pulled the wool over your yeah, eyes." That is bollocks. You'd be looking at it going, "Are you are you familiar with Victorian England artwork?" And I'd go, "No, not at all." So, <laughs> but I'm very interested in what it does, what it is that drew you to it. Like, as in, so you see the value. Now, your value in this is 22 euro. Yeah. Well, that's what they charge me. If it was 52 Mixed euro, would you have bought it? What? If it was 52 euro, would you have bought it? Probably not. If it was 42 euro, would you have bought it? No. Okay, so if it was 32 euro. Yes. You would have bought 100%. it. 100 I probably euro. would have spent anything up to 35 euro on this lovely piece of okay, artwork. Okay, so. 35 is kind of my limit when it comes to buying artwork. If all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, it's t- seven fivers. Ray won't spend a penny over seven fivers to buy artwork. I don't know. It's the first time in my 41 years that I realized 35 euro is my limit for artwork. So. 
I never well, what I'm getting at is you could easily have come in here and told me, yeah, Mark, this is an original piece. It's yeah. actually worth, you no know, it came in a fucking cardboard cylinder. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually worth 200,000 euro. Yeah. And then I'd be like, what? But you you could maybe explain some stupid story to me as to why it's worth. Yeah. Well, it's actually just a portrait of the working man. Yeah, but you, know? you can't afford The beginning it of life. <laughs> like, the beginning of life oh, is yeah. you ask what you want out of life, okay? Yeah, and it takes and it then out it takes out of you and it's all a blur. And yeah. you don't, but at the end of it, <laughs> oh, you, yeah. you do get. Oh, you funny. get out of life what you ask for, probably. Or you get out of life what you deserve, probably. Yeah. But in the middle of it all, is just a blur. In fairness, that does look like an accordion. It does look like yeah. you're the box there. <laughs> <laughs> but you could say to me That's why it's worth 200 grand The arts Would you really pay 200 <coughs> grand for it? Ray, would I, you have paid 22 euro for it? So the thing is I wouldn't wipe my arse with that like, <laughs> But it's nice No it's It just doesn't have any It doesn't no, mean, I mean anything to me it's nice fabric It's nice Do you know But the thing is like So that's a But I do get the idea behind So why is art valuable to certain people? Because yeah. it brings out an emotion in I them. It brought me a serious emotion. I laughed my arse off when I seen it. Yeah, well, okay, I laughed my arse off so much that I gave 22 euro to a Ukrainian person to send me that but the thing three is, weeks ago. We haven't named yeah. the artist yet. What? We deserve, like, we should I name don't know the, who artist. the artist. Is. But that's Clark's terrible. Door. That's terrible. Maybe it's not it. Maybe it's not the artist who sold it yet. But what I mean is maybe like Maybe this is a knockoff. Maybe this is an actual art piece. It's up in a gallery somewhere and someone's done a copy of it. That's probably a reprint, like of some shite. Do you right. know what I mean? Like I could put the Mona Lisa up in my own house. Sure, my mother used to have a picture of the Lord himself up above the fucking doer. It wasn't the original one. No, I you know? always thought I laugh at the pictures of our Lord in houses and he's as yeah. white as a sheet. Oh, he's white as a sheet, the big red lamp under him. Our Lord wasn't white. <clears throat> he was not white. Most likely from that region of the world, yeah. he was not. I was a white warned gentleman. at the weekend by my sisters that previously on previous episodes I may have ventured into a racist uh, general area. Okay, good, and, and not to do it again. No, but but you see, no, that's no more than art. No, that's yeah. all perspective. His perspective. I would not have thought you ventured into a racist thing, or maybe I did, and I made a joke. About I was it. talking about the Indian but, scammers. Yeah, but it went out there. <laughs> Boy, that was a bit racist. Yeah. <laughs> they, no, but it went out there, and yeah. the thing is. It's grand. But no, oh, well, in fairness, it is grand only because they said, "Well, you're probably not big enough to, to, uh, to warrant such a snap." All uh, right. <laughs> so I was thinking, great, our failure that has insulated us from any sort of controversy. is that we're not famous. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah. mean, thank God because we could get two Johnnies. Like, if we ever get a big job, then they'd be like, "Wait, and you hear what they said?" Like, we'd be yeah. screwed. Yeah. Not that we've ever we just a bit stupid, really. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> That's a crack. I'm glad now I got to see. Did you Did you like my picture? Yeah, but no, I didn't. But I was going to say oh. it to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wouldn't get any emotion off that, but I do get how, like, we'd say certain pictures might bring you a certain emotion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you know what I mean. Like a Van Gogh. Like, I could... No, but like, that's all bollocks. It's as well. not. It's lovely it stuff. Is, it's all bollocks. There's one starry, starry night, and I tell you, it's fear serene. Starry, now, starry night, man. I reckon he did that. He's yipped out of us on fucking <laughs> some kind of hallucinogenic. But why wouldn't he? I love it. I look at it all. Well, the that's time. thing. The Beatles wrote a lot of albums when they were yipped out yeah. of it on hallucinogenics. Yeah, like. Jerry Quincy Jones called them all shite. He called all the He's dead shows. now. He rest in peace. Yeah, Quincy is dead. Yeah, Quincy's yeah. Dead, the, yeah. Uh, I mean, what, what, he produced a lot of stuff. He did, but, yeah, but again, he said the Beatles were the worst musicians he ever met. I mean... They were the lick my stereo of his age. How dare you say that? <laughs> Sorry! How shagged dare you say they were the lick my stereo? Sorry. That was one of Mark's previous... The thing band. is, I think if the Beatles came out nowadays, we'd all go... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I have not. No. It's not that they didn't write. They wrote crazy songs. Yeah. Like songs that weren't simple to write. Like they yeah. weren't straightforward like no. the shite that's out today. Yeah. But I still think we'd all just go, mm, uh, mm. not really interested. No. There was, like, like what's your favourite Beatles song? Wasn't there a film about that where the, where the Beatles didn't exist and some fella was the only fella in the world? There was a film. Was there? He was the only fella in the world that remembered any of the Beatles songs and he's a bit of a singer-songwriter. So mm-hmm. he started, the Bureau says, play me a song. So he played a little bit of Let It, Let it Be. And she was like, oh my God, what's that? And he was like, that's the Beatles. Oh, I never heard of them. And it was like this alternate reality where the Beatles never existed, but he knew he all knew the songs. What, and did it work? I did. He got pure famous. But then it all came back to bite him a little bit. He lost everybody he loved. But then all of a sudden, he, he in typical Hollywood fashion, he made amends to everybody and eventually ended up meeting John Lennon, who didn't actually get shot. Uh, he ended up living in a little cottage up in England somewhere. Right. And he was like, oh my God, this is John Lennon. How old is Paul McCartney now? Oh, he's 70 something, maybe 80s. Oh, I'd say he's in his 80s. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. But what's your favourite Beatles song if you had to pick one? Like, oh, 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 I do. What's that one? The one that goes, uh, it's not help. Oh, not bad, though. You see, that's my point, though, a little <laughs> bit is that, <laughs> like, we're all. We're all sport. Like, if someone said, oh, what's the best band of yeah. all time? You, you might go, ah, oh, the Beatles, like. Yesterday is a good tune. 
Yesterday no. is an alright tune, yeah, but like I I'd don't be think sad we're that, listening to it. I don't know if we're that mad into it. Like I wouldn't li- listen to a Beatles <laughs> do you song blame start any to finish. Beatles songs in your set? Not really. We do Obla D. That's but, about it. Like. But you know something though. I, I I will do Let It Be if someone asks for it. Like. People to be fierce fond of the Beatles. You put a couple of Beatles songs. You know what's a good one is Eight Days a Week. That's a good song. Yeah, it's a good day. Yeah, the, but like it is a good day. The Eight Day. Yeah. <laughs> the eight day but like week. I just don't think that we. I think we just pretend we're supposed to be like, yeah, no, they're the best band of all time. You know. Yeah. Um. Get Back is a good one too That's actually. another good one Yeah Get yeah, Back But get again back. There's nothing The popular ones It's the same as any artist Come the As pop, You Are the co- Come As You Are I lo- when they, <laughs> That's when, a really good one when they Wait did, no It's not called that No no When they did times like these no, I thought they were Absolutely <laughs> it's brilliant It's come together <laughs> Come together I thought you were doing Nirvana joke no, there No it wasn't a Nirvana like, joke Come Together right. is shite It's shite song The um I just But I think you have this We used to always play Come Together And then you just get sick of it then Because you're playing it all the time You know Yeah so, but I don't know the Beatles. Like I don't really play the Beatles, and no one asks for them. Yeah, but no one ever comes up. I suppose and says, yeah, nobody does ask for them. No, but then when you play it, then everybody's going, "That's great. We'll take more of that cheese." <laughs> it's not really cheese. I don't know. Anyway, look, we're not to be shiting on the Beatles. Yeah. It's just I, f- I think I'm better. How are you them. feeling, Candy? I'm a bit like. Yeah, you're sniffly. I yeah, was sick I'm last bit, week. You're sick this week. I know. I'm a bit head coldy as all, and I've said yeah. this before in the podcast. I know I'm sick or run down when me me like forearms. Is it your forearm? Yeah, and is it your wrist. left or right forearm? No, both of them. They'll, oh, they'll wow. start aching like double fuck. Jobbing. Yeah, I'd be double jabbing myself. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> start aching then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, yeah that, that, so, I'd say you're sick enough there. Yeah, no, yeah. so I'm not, I mean, I'm grand though. Yeah. The funny thing is, like, you kind of get to a stage where, especially with kids, like, where you... Oh, here we go again. Yeah, just me with two kids. The <laughs> No, you do, like, you kind of don't really remember if you ever felt, like, really good, like, you yeah. know. And there I think was I a time where you did feel good, you know. Probably, yeah. Yeah. I mean, probably. I can't really remember it, like, but there probably was a time, like, <laughs> there probably was a time. You saw the video of me um, knocking the pint. I did. Yeah. Yeah. So, and since last Shout week's out episode, to Jamie there for sending in. The Jamie uh, in Lilies um, graciously provided CCTV footage yep. of Kendi from last week's story knocking the pint, and I can safely say, having watched it several times, <laughs> that it's not as bad as you made out. It was, I know, it was one I, pint. Yeah, it was one they pint. They were sitting at the bar. It spilled on the bar. Yeah. Very little. They got in their pants. Um, it destroyed their phone. See, at the time. Because you like you have a blurred vision of it, yeah. like I pulled the pub down, like I yeah. pulled the whole pub down. I yeah. fell over like a cartoon. That, if you the better use of your time when you got home that night would be to text Jamie and say, "Can I have the CCTV footage of that so that I can put my rational mind to rest?" Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's not the first time I've been sent CCTV yeah. for that place as well. Though it's yeah. really annoying that they if they hear it, yeah. they go I on. They're like, oh, let's get that. Instead. I was all for putting it out. I was going to release it, but yeah. then we realised that there were other people in the shots and we didn't really have their permission. Yeah, to there's a lot of other people in around yeah. the CCTV. We didn't yeah. want to fucking no. release that. It's very funny. Um, but if anyone wants it, I can send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, other than that, Ray, there's not a huge amount going on with me at the moment. Like, um, just trying to raise a load of bitches. I have found, like, raising bitches is... <laughs> Uh, Can we call the episode that? Raising bitches. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, that's what I say, like, because it is raising bitches. The, you know, but they're not both. What, is is Layla upsetting you? Is she not? Well, and what I mean is like raising I, girls. Like, yeah, thank you. But I always tell everyone surrounded. But I always say to people, when I was a teenager, I would have done anything to be surrounded by women, like mm. you know, women. Every, and now I am. And you know, but it's not what I meant. It's not what you want. <laughs> so you've you've it's prayed not what I all your life. All. I really want to be surrounded. I'd by love women. to be just surrounded by women my whole and life. And now look what you got. Do you want to hear a brilliant analogy I met today in a cafe in town? Well, you're very real fond of yourself, philo- aren't you? It's very philosophical. Yeah, go on. Boobies make the world go round. Right. Okay. They're at the center of the universe. I thought it was a pair of diddies. Gravity. Hear me out, because <laughs> uh, these have some pull as well. Right. <laughs> Boobies make the world go round. What do you mean, Kendi? I'll tell you this. So, big old boobies, Ray, yeah. or any kind of boobies, just boobies in general. I like all kinds of boobies. We talked about this the, so much. Did we? Yeah, did go we? on, no, no. I think it was the whole end did of the I, episode. Did, did we already talk about this? We called about ditties, yeah. Oh, uh, did I already make this point as well? I think you did. That that they've changed. No, no. What no. I mean by that is, so uh, as a result of me really liking a pair of old boobies, right? Yeah. I can't help myself. And boobies are there. Yeah. And then Nicola's pregnant, right? Okay, so you're blaming the boobies. So, boobies got us into that situation. Okay, fair enough. Sorry not to be cruel, and I know her family listen. No, <laughs> Sorry you're about the that. one going there, go on ahead now. Sorry about that, you? no. Sorry, mommy. Yeah. But then the baby comes out then, and the baby's favourite thing in the whole world like, like is boobies. Father. Yeah. 
So my favourite thing ever in the whole world was, share it. was boobies. <laughs> and then it brings about more life around Yeah, that then loves the boobies more than I ever loved the boobies and yeah. then takes those boobies for a year. Yeah. And then when they're done with the boobies, then I get the boobies back again and then I create more life because of those boobies again. And then that life comes out and yeah. says, they're brilliant boobies, I'm having them now. Yeah. The whole world revolves around boobies. You think it's just a constant cycle? It's a constant cycle of boobs, right? Boobs and babies. That's it. So that Isn't that good, though? Isn't that really deep, t- meaningful? Where were you when you thought of this? I was in a cafe in the middle of the day talking to a load of women behind the counter. Right. What so, were you doing in the cafe? Sorry to Laura and Nicola behind the counter and Nicola Ella there. Yeah. I was having breakfast and they were like, oh, look at your lovely baby. And I was yeah. like... Where were you having the breakfast? I'm interested in this now. What? It was in Blend. Why? You're in Blend. So you uh, had the baby with you? Yeah, we had the baby with us. So yeah. uh, we all the two E. Yeah. Oh, so it was you all and Nicola? Us. Nicola was there as well, yeah. Ah, okay. Fair enough. And all the best part of that was the women oh. were looking at Nicola going, are you going to stop this? Ridiculous rant that your husband's going on. Oh, you told them all this? Yes. Oh. Right? And Nicola was like, <laughs> I can't be stopping him talking shite anymore. <laughs> I've had enough. Of it. Like She wasn't even batting an eyelid at us. That's fair play to her. And I was trying to make a real philosophical point of that But boobies. she was the butt of the philosophical point. But no, the boobies of it, not the boobies. <laughs> 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 the booby of the... Yeah. But it is kind of true, though. Oh, it is, yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? I can't, I can't fault. You're They're the thinking. source of life and pleasure. Yeah. Do you know? <laughs> Pair of old boobies, that's... Okay. Do you know? Yep. So I'll let you all sit in that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, it's not misogynistic either. No, way, no, it's no, not. It's not. It's not. It's no. the truth. Like. Yeah, no, we're you a know? very equal opportunities podcast. And the same point that I made last week still stands. Like boobies are boobies now. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> very natural. In fact, I think everyone should send me. Pi- I, no, I, I <laughs> <laughs> have you ever got sent a pair? I've never got sent a pair of boobies. Yeah. Like I, that leads me on to my next point. Okay, I was going to say something else, but never mind. Go no, on. Make, go on. no, no, make your next point. As in, like, do you know, Nicola, like, I, I've... Oh, yeah, Nicola okay. might have sent them. Do you want to let a secret out? Yeah, I've on. seen Nicola's boobies. Would you believe that? Yeah, I've seen Now, let that be the end of that now. Okay, that's sort of mean by that. Okay. So, uh, another man, uh, close to the podcast, our favourite friend, Alan Clark. Oh, yeah. I want to speak about now because I was at his big fancy weekend down that's in right. Court. He did the equivalent... Alan, mm. fair play to you. You could be on something there now. Yeah. He did the equivalent to what all the country boys do. Yeah, yeah. So the country boys go out to Termolino, Santa Pons, all these places, the Algarve. Yeah. Denver, do bring them on the cruise? Yeah. Or someone do? Yeah. Is it Carter to bring them on the cruise no, or Denver do do us? Carter didn't bring them on the cruise. No, Denver do do us. They Denver go on a cruise yeah. and they enjoy their life. Yeah. And um, Alan, I think, said, I'm going to bring a lot of my podcasters on a weekend. But nowhere other than Enniscrone. Well, there's nowhere better than Enniscrone. The disco like, capital of the I world. would rather go to Enniscrone than It's Santa easier. Panza. So we're in the Diamond what Coast. I was myself and Brian, Brian's McTarmish. From Pixar Productions, Productions, who runs this studio runs right studio here. here. Me and him were rocking the weekend, so we had a bird's eye view of the goons ons Were you drinking at it or what? No, well, no. I had, we had a few small yeah, pints. Yeah, a few small pints. You're not supposed to be drinking on the jaw, ain't Oh, no, sorry. The reason I was reminded of Alan is because he also has a problem in that no one has ever sent him boobs. Um, what does that mean? As in, no one has sent him pictures of boobs. Are well, you sure you should be talking about this? Oh, that's he's openly said it. Oh, wait, no, he mightn't have openly said it. On <laughs> I think publicly. he openly said it to you in the confidence of a private conversation. I uh, doubt it now. At I'm half sure. two in the morning. No, I'm nearly sure now he said it in public. I will go on that. But he's he, he uh, so we'll go with that. But Just that, for a minute or two. Yeah, then, but I mean, I really, I I know what he's doing. Because if he if he's saying that, he's obviously welcoming. Yeah. You know, no one's ever done that. Oh. And then if you were anyways an owner of one of them, you'd be kind of going. Yeah, so it's kind of like me going, you know, I've never been sent a million euro before. <laughs> Did you know that? It's like of all my life, I've never yeah. been sent a no, million euro before. No, I don't know, it's easy now. But yeah, no, I get where you're coming from. But uh, Alan, anyway, uh, that's uh, something he's been dealing with. But he ran this fancy weekend. And I wonder, would you enjoy it if you had been there? Okay, I. so this is the thing. I would have enjoyed loads of that. Right. right. Can I run you through the schedule? Well, I'll just tell you now, before you go any further. Yeah. That's kind of up my alley. Oh, it's a weekend down, away. It's only down the road, a little weekend away. Lovely. Have a bit of crack, yeah. drink a few pints. Yeah. Into the bed, up the stairs. Yeah. It is actually, I have to say, lovely. He's, he's happened across a lovely little thing. Lovely bit of dinner. If he'd only do it again. Yeah. So, the first, the first night, you land on the Diamond Coast, right? Which I don't is know which a one I'm f- Fantastic oh. weekend. F- f- fantastic hotel mm-hmm. down in Ishkron, disco capital of the world. Yep. You land there around uh, four or five o'clock, maybe six, and uh, you check into your room, which you've booked. It was two nine nine per person. Right. Sharing. Very good. For the weekend. Yeah, it's very good. This is what you get for two nine nine. So you check into your room, a lovely room, you come back down, 
I sound like Trump there for a second. Were you and Brian in the same room? Uh, no, me and Brian didn't stay over. Oh, I no. thought you'd be in the same room. The two no, you'd start we didn't kissing. stay over. We you'd have Guinness and you'd be like, oh, I can't believe this is about to happen. And the two you start kissing. <laughs> yeah, then. yeah, yeah. Go true. on, sorry, though. Yeah, I wish. Um, so <laughs> you arrive and you come down, then you have, first of all, the Diamond Coast put on what they called nibbles. Oh, nibbles. Bites, right? But it was nibbles that I had never seen before in my life. Like, what are we There talking? was an a abundance of staff walking around with trays full of stuff. Lamp in the mouth. There was four different types of desserts. They're called hard dovras. Oh, d- what? H o r s d o v r u e s. Hors d'oeuvres or hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> no, it wasn't even hors. Yeah, there was bits of savoury stuff, but then there was there was cheesecake ice cream. There was sticky toffee pudding, but they were all mini versions. There was little right. cones. There was lagging around with a, a cone holder right. and a scatter of ninety nines up inside it. Lovely. And I was sitting there going, "This is." The, I had all the desserts. Yeah, no, that's yeah, it's bad. It for you, was but tremendous. Okay. And then we went in then, and there was a live podcast show where he had many guests. Yeah, and it was tremendous crack. What were the and, last guests like? Uh, uh, who did he on? He had Cowboy Kelly. He was good, was he? I have to say, Cowboy Kelly was fierce witty. He knows what he's doing, doesn't he? Yeah, he's savage. very, very funny. He got all the good crack laughs all night. Yeah. And he had Rachel Gorry. Uh, she was lovely. And yeah. then who else was there then? Donald Byrne. Now, Donald Byrne is a man that owns the ray, big red barn. Um, what do you call it? BRB Homes. BRB Homes. He makes houses. That's they make, he uh, yeah, they make houses. Yeah. He doesn't build them, he makes them. Yeah, they don't build them, they're <laughs> they made. They're yeah. made. They're not then, brick, they're not brick. And then he would erect them. Stainless steel. So he yeah. build, He makes them and erects them. Yeah, big erection. Yeah, big yeah. erection, that's what yeah. that man is famous for. Yeah. He was there anyway, it was great crack, they, they knocked good crack out of him. And uh, the show finished and then everybody went into the bar and Stuart Boyles played loads of tunes. Yup, Stuart Boyles. Is Stuart Boyles not one of the nicest fellas you've ever met in your life? No, Odyssey though, isn't he? He's a ridiculous and nice fellow. He's one of the nicest fellas He's going. Country star. I'd love to start kissing him as well. But anyway, we won't anyway, get into that. Go on. So that was the Friday night. Tremendous fun. You get up on Saturday morning, you might go for a walk on the beach. This was what I called the piece to resist stones of the weekend. Donald Byrne, fantastic crack Irish man, yep. brought the whole lot of them on a pub crawl up in the scroll. From yeah, three Jesus o'clock Christ. till whatever time they fell out of the last pub. Where, how, and <laughs> did he get through that? Well, this is my point. I, I look at him as a sacrificial lamb. Oh, yeah. I think Alan sat him down and going, look it, I really appreciate you helping me out this weekend, but we're gonna ha- you're going to miss the Saturday night. Yeah. You're not going to be fit for it. Because was Donald, he not fit for it? No, he wasn't. He was he, now, he was, there for the, he was there for the meal, but at one point, because there was a gala James Bond-themed dinner then yeah. after the pub crawl, which I don't know how anyone could possibly do that. God's above it. God above, like after all them pints. Yeah. But uh, Donald was sitting at a table in his tuxedo, yeah. And at one point I was trying to do things at the stage And he came up from behind He put his arm in under my crotchal area <laughs> And picked me up <laughs> off the ground I didn't know who was doing this Oh Jesus And carried me for a length Jeez he done well to lift you now He did didn't he oh, good hell That man was bananas But anyway apparently he was put to bed then shortly after Was he? Yeah I saw a video of him and uh, Duddy Gall Daddy and he, he was, was there too He was playing in the band Red Alert Red Alert was marvellous band Red Alert unbelievable I don't mean to take the shine off the Atlantic yeah, but, but if, if the Atlantic was, aren't available, then you'd get you red could, alerts. You could go on and get red They're yeah. a very good band. We are available, though, make sure yeah, you make Yeah, but, <laughs> but I think red alerts are fantastic. Yeah, yeah, they're sounding good. Did, because it was a James Bond party, they had to, he had to get a fancy car to drive in. in. So he, he was getting an Aston Martin. That didn't work out. Uh, in Irish, it's an Austin watching. An Austin watching. Yeah. Didn't work out. He ended up getting a Citroen Ami. Have you seen these cars? Not the same, really, as a <laughs> it was Aston Martin. Might as well be. It was silver. I saw it. And it came. It, Fucking amazing. The state Now, it's probably a death trap. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. It's not the Sorry, worst Alan, thing. Sorry, Alan. No. The best weekend you... <laughs> the best weekend I've ever seen, crack-wise. Oh. That's the worst car I've ever seen in my life. It's not, Oh, I have to tell you... Sorry. We, we, yeah, we'll do... We'll, sit, why is it the worst thing? The head in it. It's not. It's a beautiful little yo. No, the head in that it's car. It's fun to drive. How many people did he fit in it? In Eleven. Eleven be tits, man. How Maybe many, nine. How many of them had a seatbelt on? <laughs> it was all okay, very well dressed. Not a one, not a one of them. Yeah. How many people is it supposed to sit? Two. Two. Two people as well yeah, sitting inside Yeah, but me and you would love it. No, you look like a floose. No, you wouldn't look like everybody would be looking at you in a good like way. Like a floose. Yeah, but depends on what your interpretation of the way they're looking at you is. No, it's bad. It'll be bad. No. Wonder. Anyway, it's an awful looking joke. A Dave Duke. Have you heard of him? Oh, yeah. He's on yep. iRadio. That's right, yeah. He's tremendous. Yeah, great voice, didn't he? He's a great voice, a great yeah. way with a crowd. He is was, he a Ruscommon man? He's at Lone. Is that Roscommon? Well, half of that Lone is Roscommon. Well, I wouldn't know which half he's in. He'd be a, well, if he crossed the river. Shannon, he's, he's over the probably side. a dropper. It's common in him. Say, I, I, I have to say, he's not. Common. What's the other county that borders it, Lone? Westmead. Oh, he's definitely not Westmead. No, yeah, no, Westmead is when you get into the town. It's common is the quiet side of Atlanta. It's common is character. Westmead is not. Westmead is now. I mean, Westmead is like Mead said. We no have thanks. savage land here. <laughs> yeah. Except for over that side. <laughs> yeah. That's a load of shite. That's a load of shite. And they cut it off. Yeah. And they were like, "Are you sure, no, no? You go after your own thing, no bother at all." <laughs> 
Yeah. We'll keep all the lovely land. Yeah. He was marvellous anyway. You he, go live in that bog. Yeah. That's what they said, really. He got up and he did. He was doing the DJ and the um, and the entertainment of the crowd, giving spot prizes out for people uh, making loads of noise. Yeah, so that's what I was going to get to. The, the class crack at all these shows. It and was th- The whole night was class was crack. crack. Yeah. 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 Now, nothing against Alan, nothing against anybody. And you can tell me, you have to tell me the answer to this next question. Mm-hmm. Was any of us the crack that might have made me want to go outside? On <laughs> uh, I don't think so. It was wasn't that, fake crack. Was there any games like fake games? There was. It was blowing up balloons, and there was there was races. Women were racing each other up and down the thing. So that's obviously a brilliant idea. Uh, I am enjoy, enjoying it. it. There's nothing nicer than watching but, five women in high heels and and fancy ball gown dresses uh, running on, no. from one end of the function room to the other. That's different now. You're only saying that because you're a Dutch pervert. No, but, uh, <laughs> just I was afraid for their safety in the heels. It's just that I. Alan, I don't be that bad with it. It's just, I... You wouldn't enjoy that. That's, I have to leave when stuff like that happens. Would you enjoy him coming in in the car? Would that have been Yeah, that right? would have been all right. That would have been okay. Doesn't evolve any. That's him driving yeah. in the car and he's going, oh, Yeah, look. that's nice. You know? Yeah. It's like, I would, just can't be dealing with any singing waiters, any of that stuff. Would I you just, participated in the how many people can be fit in the car? Would you have been one of those people? No. No. The smells alone, Ray, would have really put me <laughs> off that. You're in, like, besides, someone's here, like... Yeah. And you're like, well, how many have they in now? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> the fuck yeah. will someone open a window yeah, there's no windows in it because can't. <laughs> there's no budget for windows in the car. <laughs> so that's why I definitely wouldn't any of that stuff but I'm a born bastard like I am so I play in a wedding band and my yeah. job is to get people up and dancing yeah it's really, it's really weird but it's... I'm the fella who's at the bar talking about JA though yeah the one the fella I give out about yeah so I'm like ah jeez everyone's at the bar talking about JA but yeah. sure if I was there I would have been doing the same you would have been doing the same do you know you missed out anywhere for Jordan Addison? Uh, he's doing another one for sure, I definitely. Hope he, will, yeah. he absolutely will. And the thing about Alan is uh, we have an announcement to make about him very, very soon. I he's think gonna, he's on with us next week. He's going to... Is he? Oh, yeah. I'd say next week or maybe the following week. Anyway, he, yeah. but, and when he when he is on, he'll be announcing something else as well. The, uh, so keep an eye out. We yeah. we are huge supporters of Alan Clark, mainly because he's a huge supporter of us as well. I am, fair And we really appreciate us. We do. So uh, go to his weekend's. If have, they're happening again. Have the fake crack if you want. Oh, I, yeah, do I'll, have I'll, the fake I'll crack. not be doing it. No, it's very, very much That's fun. terrible. Anyway, come on. I have uh, I have to talk about the American election very, very quickly. Oh, okay. So, so by the time this goes out, will we know? Today is the 5th of... It's the Tuesday the 5th of, the, of November. Will we know who the president is uh, by the time... You'll have a fair it, idea. Will, yeah? Yeah. So who do you think it's going to be? I, I hope... No, I, not who you hope. Not who you hope. I don't want to know who you hope it is. Who do you think it's going to be? I... Who wins the election? Um, Kamala. You think Kamala? I think Kamala. Take yeah. my Pamela. <laughs> You're you just know? doing SNL shite now. That's very good. Yeah, yeah well, your one is the head of her, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, she is, yeah, yeah. She's unbelievable yeah. at it. But I think, I think Kamala, because if Kamala wins it, I know the way the Trump is saying, Trump is basically saying, if you let Kamala win this, yeah. everything's going to shite. Yeah. And there is that kind of undercurrent of Kamala is the the, the status quo, the like the, yeah. the deep state. Mm-hmm. You know, the things that control everything. Yeah. And Trump is the, the light. Yeah. But uh, I don't know, do I believe that? I no, think if Kamala gets it, I think it's decency wins. No, I think if either one of them win it, it doesn't make a blind bit of difference. Oh, I think tr- if Trump wins it, and I'll give you an example. Go on. So. Go on. I would be the sort of fella that um, does sound for events. Yeah. Right? You are that sort of fella in fairness. I'm sort of fella, and you were also the sort yeah. of fella that does sound for events. For lesser events, so, yes. So That's imagine right. when you were doing a corporate event, yeah. and a gentleman got up to the podium yeah. and spent 10 minutes lambasting you yeah. because the mic didn't work. Yeah. Right? That's happened. Said he'd fire you. you. Said he'd, uh, you're a loser. Yeah. You're um, a waste of space. You're, yeah. a, you know, a degenerate. Yeah. This is what Trump did at a rally. A mic didn't work, and then he got a, like a handheld mic, and he lit on the poor technical crew, who obviously okay. a cable went wrong here or something, yeah. but he lit on them. Did he? And he was seething. Yeah. And it's funny when you see how people, it's it's all about how people treat people. Yeah. The way he treated those people yeah. was not nice. Okay, and, so. And that's, in my mind, if Trump wins, it's yeah. a bad day for the sound man. I don't want to be literally Ray, <laughs> but of all the stuff that he's done in his life... <laughs> 
Ray was on the fence. Ray was really on the fence there until he lambasted a sound engineer. I was not. And Ray was like, I, the camel back. <laughs> I can't believe it. he was going to vote for him. Ray was going to vote for Trump until he yeah. saw that. Yeah. I mean, of all the things that he um, stands for, you know, lambasted but it was just, sound. Just very but simple, yeah. I do agree with you, though. Yeah. It is how you He's treat people. He's not a nice man. You can see a lot. You can learn a lot about a person by how he treats people. Yeah. Um, I think it's. Maybe I'm wrong because we, we're on the outside. We haven't a clue really what's going on in there. I cannot believe, I cannot believe that it's up in the air. That's yeah, the part. Haven't been in America, you know. You can understand why it's up. Well, in the a air. little bit though, but I can't believe that the Democrats can't find a candidate capable of wiping the floor with them. Oh yeah, I've, I've, exactly. I've answered the question, or even the way that Trump, so why Trump did, they did a three-hour three-hour yeah. thing with, with Joe Rogan. Yeah. How come the Democrat candidate can't do that? She won't. She wouldn't do it. Yeah. So she would, but she was like. You have to come to me, yeah. and there has to be people in the room. Ah, load of and So why can't they find someone more... Co- so you can tell, from what I can see anyway, and we're looking at it from the outside almost, yeah. and again, like an entertainment aspect of it, because the stuff that comes up in our feeds is kind of the more the funny side of it or yeah. whatever, you know. So what I'm seeing is that she kind of seems a little bit... People are going for... So let's say Democrats or people who hate Trump mm. are going for Kamala Harris. Mm. But when you ask them why or... They're nearly going. She's just not Trump. I kind of have to. Yeah, I know she doesn't really stand for anything. Harrison Ford came out. Har- she doesn't mean Harrison anything to me, Ford, but I have to. Harrison Ford came out and said, "Look, us. I don't agree with her. Yeah, I don't think she's great. But she's not Trump. But she's not Trump. So <laughs> why, in a in in a country of three hundred and fifty million people, mm. all right, the global like they are the global governments. We'll say. I mean, in their own eyes, I yeah. might be saying that. But a little how bit. how did she? She was an attorney general. Like you don't get a job as attorney general in the country unless you're half. She's obviously no, no. She's very impressive. Yeah, like let's say she's very impressive. I think but, she's very impressive. But she's not. So, but why is she not hammering Trump? Yeah, it should be the easiest job in the world. Yeah, a, yeah, it should be. The Democrats should be able to find someone and go. Will you go up and stand on stage beside him? Yeah, and make sure he looks like a flute. Yeah. No, there's no one that can do it. Yeah, uh, Cowboy Kelly could do it. You would send, send Cowboy Kelly up with I the Democrats. Think that, I mean, that's definitely And the problem is, now. a lot of... So we talked about this in politics. It's similar enough here in Ireland as well, is that what happens is most people live in the middle. I've said this before. And then you mm. have the, the big voice on the side. And the American... So the American state, that, that this is how it works in my head. They both go far left and far right, really, in policies, in yeah. what they're saying whenever they want to become president. Yeah. Then usually when they get in, it's they the all end up the in the middle, middle of the road anyway. Yeah. The Democrats had some brilliant middle of the road candidates, mm. but you can't have this middle of the road but the straight book does, out. The book like, that's running with him, Tim Waltz, who? running with her. The oh, book, yeah. the vice president, Tim yeah. Waltz. Who's he? Like, he's marvelous. Is he? Yeah. He's pure core American values. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, now, mind you, he was in the National Guard, so he never got to go overseas and kill people for America. Uh-huh. He only got to just mind the house when they were gone. I mean, it is funny you say that as well because, like. I've seen two separate clips of Kamala Harris. Um, and in one of them, she's like, we really got to protect the Israeli state. Like, oh, yeah. this is going to get taken down now. I just realized by saying That's that. That's it anyway, now. I you know, that now. But then... Lads, it's been a good run. And then in another clip, <laughs> then it was the, like, we, we have to, we have to really respect Palestine. And yeah. you're like, what are you doing here? Like, playing. The thing with Trump is, the reason I hope and pray he doesn't win is that I know that uh, from what I've gathered, he's a sympathizer of that side of us. Mm. And I think anyone that stands by what's happening over there, yeah. I don't care. They, they should all put their hands up like, and be called. Pr- but if it, I'm like, get that prick out of there then. Can I also, just be, uh, to finish up this little section, Go on. can I recommend, if anyone likes, um, there's a podcast called Trigonometry. Oh, yeah. 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 You know it? Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Trigonometry. Yeah. And they, ha- they did an episode there a couple of weeks back with a British colonel yeah. who spent the last year in Gaza. Oh, yeah. And I would recommend... That if you're anyone interested in the Israeli oh, Palestinian good. experience, yeah, um, that sounds like something you get in Universal Studios. <laughs> Sixteen hundred quid all in, yeah, and uh, flights. Israeli Palestinian uh, experience, yeah. you get to ex- experience both yeah, sides. Yeah, you should but listen to this, that. This particular episode, yeah, it's it gives a kind of a different perspective. Well, okay, good. and I, I'm not going to say what that is. No, I don't want to jump in either. No, I know what but, you're saying. But uh, it gives yeah. a different perspective, and in fairness, you, you kind of go, okay, that's it's good to know. Okay, so... Yeah, that's all. Yeah, let me... Because people think... I feel like I know how to say something on this, so just give me 30 seconds to say something. I get what you're saying. It, they're not doing it for no reason. The I war that's over there... It, no, no, but... All I'm saying is that... On both sides, they're a shower of bastards. Yeah, yes. That's what I'm saying. But yeah. the second that you decide you're... 
They're border shower bastards. Yeah. It needs to end now. Like. Oh, it does, yeah. The people in the middle aren't but that's where a shower the, bastards. As I said, this particular podcast yeah. illustrates yeah. how it may end. All right, so okay. That's all. Have I to go over and do a concert or something? <laughs> <laughs> Kendi live Kendi live. live They were like Alright we'll stop <laughs> Jesus Christ Please 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 We'll stop Yeah Live and gather Lord, Here we go Brown eyed girl Ah oh, fucking stop please Surely you don't want to hear a Beatles song <laughs> It is weak <laughs> It's awful It's fucking I have to do Anyway with- the other thing is Well apologies to any of my American friends And I have American family as well a new American. I think I've saved. I'm a new American my... member of my family as well. I just want to say Have we're you? we're idiots for saying all this. We're just talking out loud. We yeah. So as of <laughs> They're right there. Hopefully, with the as of Friday, will be announced. Like, but uh, my little sister Ellie and her husband Kenny had a beautiful little baby boy called Dara. Today. Thank, thank God they went away from the Ellie Kenny. It's a it's yeah, a different Ellie, Kenny, constant and they, baby. Uh, and they had Benny. Benny. Ben was the, <laughs> the little baby Benny. No, they had uh, <laughs> baby Dara who was born. So huge congratulations. How do you spell it? D A R R A G H. Okay, straightforward. Do you know why? Why? So number one, Ellie wants to. He's named after the Minister for Housing. That is a Kenny, an American, is a huge fan of Dara O'Brien. Yeah. No, the reason they call him Dara was so they were going to spell it D A R A, or Ellie was, but that's a woman's name in in America. Ah, I didn't realize that at all. No. And then she wants to keep the Irish side of it, the Dara. Yeah, no, it's very nice. Yeah, Yeah. no, in fairness. So a big congratulations to them. I now have congratulations to Minister O'Brien too. Another child named after him. He's, he has too many of them now, really. man, That man's doing well when to it comes to yeah, You don't see so many Simons around the uh, place. But anyway, I have to be careful of, like, when I talk about America, like, we haven't a clue. We're just soaking up yeah. the entertainment value of it. That's all. Yeah. We're obsessed. Like, the Americans must be looking at us going, why are you so obsessed with us? Would you ever shut up? Like? I don't think they worry. Uh, uh, but I do think that there's a lot of lunatics over there. But anyway, we want, yeah, go on anyway. Right? I have Sorry. a shout out. Nathan Delaney, fair play to him. He sent us in a meme. Uh, it was an office uh, meme. It was one of yeah. my. It oh, was yeah. one of my outfits. I. I it, that's all. I show think. me. Let me show it to you there. Yeah. It was something about tell the, to explain the difference between. Oh these yeah, photos. I know that meme. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> Nathan, I know that meme. I mean, I, I watch the office all the time. That's yeah, brilliant. Today, yeah, now that's Nathan. Uh, fair play to you, boy. Most people says I. Yep. But um, tremendous. Uh, I have a quiz. Oh, oh, I love a good old quiz. Right? So we're going to do a little bit of a quiz. Go on, Father Ted quiz. Yeah, it's rapid fire. I'm not going to give you the. So there was. Um, <laughs> There was multiple choice in this, ma- makes it easy. It was on Joe.e and I, Laura ran it to me last night. And I How'd you get enjoyed on? it. I got, I think, 14 out of 25. Okay, I have to be 14. So okay. you have to be, for, for, okay. So this someone, is the someone's rapid... Someone's going to have to count here. The rapid fire buzz around. Um, James, okay. are you fit to count and uh, <laughs> James and Alex on the things? Oh, yeah, just do a little mark every time I get it, Jamesy. Yeah, Thanks. so James is going to line up now and actually do a kind of a count. See, so I did 14 out of 25, 25 questions. Obviously, everybody at home... It's a bit of crack in this. So yep. what I'm going to do, you're going to give me the answer and I'm going to give you the correct answer. Okay. And this is a very Father Ted quiz, but it was really, really good. Okay. Would you consider yourself a good Father Ted fan? Like, I haven't watched Father Ted in a lot of years. Like, but, but did you it love is, it when it was out? Yeah, it is the most quoted show in the yeah. history of And this, the funny thing was, Laura wouldn't be um, a viewer of the Father Ted. No. But um, she very much enjoyed the crack in this quiz. Do you remember the time we put up Father Ted content before on TikTok and we had to take it down? What was that? Oh, yes. yeah. Do you yeah. remember? Yep. Yeah. Let's so this would be good if this goes up. Go on. Yep. Right, are you ready? Yes. 25 Question questions one, on Father Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Which of these was not an attraction at Funland on Craggy Island? The Ladder, the Lake of Terror, Freak Pointing, or the Tunnel of Goats? The Tunnel of Goats. Uh, no, it was the Lake of Terror. Oh, what? Lake of t- <laughs> Shite, that's one wrong. Okay. <laughs> what word did Father Stone's uh, father use repeatedly to describe... Terrible father, isn't it <laughs> terrible? <laughs> father, you're right, yeah, that's very good. Fill in the blank. They're even coming from... Eh, to see the film. They're the film even coming from, from Gdansk yes, to correct. see the film. <laughs> well done. What was the response of Father Harry Coyle to being awarded a mark of 7 out of 10 for his performance of Ziggy Stardust at the All Priest Stars in the Rise Lookalike competition? <sighs> Fucking hell. Was it? Something. Oh, you give me multiple <laughs> I'll choice. I'll give you the four, yeah. What? Pricks, tossers, bastards, or wankers? Wankers. It wankers. was wankers, 100%. No, it was bastards. Fuck it anyway. <laughs> Fuck it anyway. What book did Ted claim to have read 10 times in conversation with novelist Polly Clark? Oh... Oh, um, not Pride and Prejudice. No. It's the other one. It's the double. It's yeah. Law and Punishment. Or crime and Punishment. Crime and Punishment. Give me that. that. Give me that. that one. Well yeah, done, like James. That's, I knew what that James was. James is really enjoying himself now. The cameras have stopped. <laughs> what did Father Jack drink that caused his apparent death in the final dreamy, episode? Of- dreamy, nicey, snoozy, snooze. <laughs> no, it was the floor pilot. Oh, shite. I jumped the gun. I yeah, didn't even he hear did, the question. Yeah. Uh, what did Noel Furlong claim Ted had a voice like? Uh, Celine Dion. Celine Dion is correct. <laughs> 
What number ticket did Dougal win the raffle to win the car? What with what number ticket did Dougal win the raffle? I have two in my car? head. Yeah, it's either seven or eleven. Uh, which one do you want to go with? I'll give you a clue. It's the same upside down. Oh, it's eleven. <laughs> it's I was 11. right, was yeah, I? Yeah, give me that yeah. One okay, now, yeah. yeah. Fill in the blank. Dougal, we are not watching. Dougal, we are not watching. Yeah. <laughs> give me what? Like th- 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 ten seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dougal, we are not watching. It's a film. Oh, I can't. I can't remember. Aliens was the answer. Beck. To Sorry, now, yeah. Beck it anyway. Based on his incredulous response to Dougal's answer to his question, which band did Father Damo Lennon really prefer? Uh, Oasis. Correct. Yeah, he said Blur, and he said, what? Oasis, Oasis, Oasis. <laughs> what was the name of the song entry by the Harry Bowsies at Song for Ireland 1996? Like, there were they the Harry Bowsies? No. <laughs> no, it was the other, the other crowd. Oh... Dreamed a dream or something? No, it was you. Dirty English bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. What, I don't know what that is at all. What name did Dougal give to his rabbit in the episode where the Sampras. house began? Sampras. Sampras. <laughs> <laughs> Who won the lovely girls competition? Oh, uh, I have it. Uh, Yvonne. Something. No, no. I'll give you three names. Mary Gondola, Amelda, Assumpta. Oh, Amelda. Amelda. Was it Amelda? Yeah, it was Amelda. Congratulations. Yeah, it was yeah you Amelda. got that one. What does Dougal attempt to give up for Lent? He tries to give up rollerblading. Well done. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. Could have been what, skateboard. What infamous historical figure does Ted say Father Stack is worse than? Because you wouldn't find said historical figure playing jungle music at three in the morning. Is it Harvey? <laughs> no. No. No, it's, uh, hang it's, on a it's second. It's the worst man that ever lived. He's like Hitler or something. There you are. Yeah, out. that's yeah. what it is. He's like, I know Hitler wouldn't be playing jungle Imagine, music. poor old Hitler is the worst man that ever lived. <laughs> Even above Genghis Khan, because no one remembers the Genghis bad things. Genghis Khan killed millions I know, and millions. But no one remembers. Yeah, no yeah. one remembers that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who drew a picture of themselves in the nip with a dog on board the airplane? Ah, oh, Jesus, Father. Was it Father Joe Briefly, Father Cave, Father Fay, or Father Flynn? Father Flynn. Father Flynn. Correct. Yes. That's Father Fay is a who can't talk. <laughs> Ooh, ah, 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 that's Father Fay. Which well known Dutch footballer did Dougal predict would appear sitting oh, in the chair? Oh, he's really holding out of shades. <laughs> Isn't it? It's Rude Hullis. Yeah, yeah. 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 Laura was shocked at me answering these questions. Like, how did you know? (laughs) Which tribe did Ted incorrectly claim had no representatives living on Craggy Island? Oh, jeez, that's a really tough one. Apache, Pygmy, Zulu, or Maori? The Apaches. Nope, I think it was the Maori. Was it Maori? Yeah. All right, okay. Uh, I'm doing shit at this. What was Hud Hastings wearing that prompted suspicion from Ted that his role in corrupting the King of the Sheep competition? He was wearing a big, massive woolly jacket, like a like a... Course, wasn't I it? Really, I said the same thing. Oh, was it jewellery? No, it was more than that. It was a crown. Oh, he was wearing a crown. Yeah, he You're was. You're right, he was what, wearing a what crown. What speed must Dougal not allow the mink flo- milk mink float, <laughs> the milk float to drop below to avoid detonating the bomb? Ah, uh, four miles an hour. Four miles an hour is correct. Oh, <laughs> what, a, yeah, what an answer! <laughs> Which member of the St. Luke's youth group repeatedly tells Noel Furlong to shut up while Will you the shut kill? up? Oh, Noel, Noel Fields. <laughs> Is it Noel? It's Noel's, Noel's brother. Oh, Tony Fields. No. Tony, it was. No, it wasn't. I really like Tony. It, oh, it's Tony Lynch. Tony Sorry. Lynch. Yeah, it was yeah, Tony. No. Yeah, yeah. We're not giving him that. Give him Tony. No, it was Tony. No, 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 no. It was Tony. I no, got it. it wasn't. I'm the manager of this quiz. What <laughs> over 75s team did Father Romeo Sensini represent before <laughs> turning out for Rugged Island? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't remember. I yeah, can't remember. I give you Italy, Monaco, Malta, or oh, the Vatican. Oh, sorry. I, it's it's Italy. No, it's the Vatican. Oh, he ran, oh, did he? Yeah, yeah, he won 17 caps to them before departing for Rugby Island. <laughs> <laughs> what country did Father Jessup sarcastically claim to have come by en route to Craig Island oh, with Bishop no. Brennan? Would you like a cup of tea? No, we'd rather... <laughs> no. <laughs> Outer Mongolia, New no. Zealand, Chile, or Southern Yemen? Southern Yemen. Southern Yemen is correct. Yes. No, we came by Southern Yemen. <laughs> oh, he was such a prick. Fill in the blank. I'm no good at judging the size of crowds, but I'd say there's about... Two million. Two million? Uh, 17 million. Fuck us. Yeah. <laughs> the music of what band prompts a sudden mood change in Father Kevin while on the bus? Oh, Radiohead. Right your head. <laughs> God, it's class. It's my favourite scene. That's it. No James, bother at all there. Turn it up there. James, do a little count there now. I, I didn't do very well at all. I think you did. I say you bet me. Yeah, but you had multiple choice. I just shouted out a load of answers. What did, yeah, what did I get, Jamesy? 15. 15! <laughs> Come up, you fire! I'd love to know what people at home got. There's a lot of people that get nearly all of that. Some of them are very obscure now. Yeah. You know? 
That was fucking fantastic. Uh, fair play to Joe. That that's that, that's good content now for November. It actually is brilliant yeah. November yeah. content. Yeah. Um, come here, the live show, twelfth of December. You can still get your tickets. Donny Gall Daddy is the special guest on the day. He was at the weekend for Alan Clark. He was. Yeah. The in, in tribute to Alan Clark. What was he like? He was. The greatest gentleman that ever lived. Ah, but we don't care about that. Tell me he was time. lovely. He, he lent. Was pissed. He, he pissed on the bar. He, no, he didn't. He, he lent me did. two extension leads because I ran out. Woo! Yeah, I was professional. Me. That's a good fella. Yeah, he's a good fella. A good fella lending extension leads yeah, and black ones at that. I do enjoy a black extension lead because it, it looks it can't professional. Can't be seen on the stage. Can't be seen. Nobody oh, can Lord see it. Above. You have to actually plug things in for people because they you can't do. find yeah, it. Yeah, where's that extension lead? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> He was very good. He's. Yeah. Um, I had to ask you this question. You know the way the Atlantic is a trendy wedding band. Yes. The Red Alert boys. They all wore waistcoats and yes. ties and shirts. Yeah. And then during ACDC, they actually mimicked the crowd by putting their ties in their head. Oh yeah. Rolled up their trousers. Um, yeah. And what, what are your thoughts on this? I, I so just whenever we do ACDC, not to. I don't want to ruin the surprise on all of our wedding guests, or whatever. But when yeah. we do ACDC, all of the band take their pants off, except for Bethany. <laughs> all of the band take their pants off. <laughs> And we get down to our jocks. I thought you were going to say something along the lines of Bon Scott actually comes out from the dead. Scott Boss, we dig him up Is Bon Scott wedding. dead? He is dead, yeah. He's yeah. the guy who um, yeah. is fixing uh, What's the other lad now? I can't remember. What's the new lad in ACDC? Brian Johnson. Brian Johnson. The new lad. Yeah. He's been there since fucking 1978. <laughs> Where he's like, what's that new fella like? <laughs> was, was, uh, some fella died this week or last week yeah. and he was apparently the original singer with Iron's Maiden. All right. Uh, something Anno. The, Anno. And, he didn't... I, I, <laughs> But I don't know. I don't know. I didn't think there was an original singer with Iron Maiden. But sure, look, maybe I'm wrong. Well, there has to be an original singer with Iron yeah. Maiden. Like, there Why? has to be what? Because there has to be. The but guy I thought who's... that was the book that drives the planes. What? And sings the songs. You know the book that drives the planes. For Iron do, you, do you mean like along the same lines of What's like? Iron I'm in the, the, the band, but I drive the van as well. <laughs> Bruce Dickinson. He owns a plane. That's the reason he got into the band. I'd say, Shlads, I can fly you drive around the, the world. Plane. I yeah. be okay. He was a roadie first. Yeah. <laughs> And then they heard him sing And then the cockpit Yeah That's oh, it that's that's Fantastic yeah um, Come here That's anyway 12th of December You can yeah, come see the live show Absolute Donny Gold's daddy, Gold's daddy. Gold's daddy. Yeah. Uh, He's very sound man Very funny Tickets still available If you go on Ticketmaster.ie Or if you just go into our Instagram uh, And go yeah. to the link That's yeah, there Please do it. come Because it'll actually be it'll Quite be a nice night And we have another live show That's going to be announced Very very soon We have some huge things happening Do you know something We have some nice big guests For that now And I don't mean size wise Yeah no but we can't I don't, We're not selling that yet No we're not selling that yet We're selling 12th of December Yeah that's what we're selling now. Yeah. Before we sell anything else. Before we sell anything else. So if that doesn't sell out, then we won't do anything more. That's the end of us. Yeah. We're not doing any more live shows That's if it, you don't come you to quit. this. You quit. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, threaten them. Yeah, I'm going to threaten if you, everyone. Yeah. I know it's going to be shy, but you better be there. That's marketing. <laughs> that is there now. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. yeah unless, unless you buy the tickets, we're not doing the I'm show. I'm not doing that anymore yeah. again. Yeah. Uh, come here. A big thanks to Pixar Productions and to the Sligo Show for again we're using their studio. Yeah. And a big thanks to Jamesy for flicking the keys off himself while Brendan is on annual, annual leave. leave. And of course, Maves and the Garavogue Bar. For their absolutely generous bond. I was thinking about this today. And the white eye. Oh, and the white eye. But I was thinking about this today. They're off a sound. They are off sound. They keep us ticking over. Yeah. Do you know? No, they are. Like, and I'm in yeah. Maves twice a week. Yeah. The finest establishment. And they put the, the Christmas town. decorations up now. Can't wait. But is it not up? No, no, I can't wait to play in there. Oh. I'm playing there tomorrow. I've seen wait. a video up with the Christmas decorations. It's probably the best Christmas decorations in town. No, yeah, they put some effort in. See the they Halloween do, decorations yeah. they put in Maves as well? Oh, I didn't see them at all. class. Just they put in some effort. So yeah, if you want to see good decorations, yep, and, and you want pints. to get a good old pint, all oh, and did you know? And uh, this is actually, uh, uh, this is genuinely we're doing advertisement here, but I didn't, yeah. I can't. Uh, th this one isn't. They have the white hike stout oh. on tap in Maeve's. Stout. I swear to God, Ray, we had it that day out of the can. Do you remember? Yeah. When, br when Bob brought it in, so I went in there two weeks ago. Joey says to me, "Will you chance?" Because I always drink a Guinness like in there. Yeah. Will you chance this? And I was like, "I'll mm. chance it, Joey." Nothing against white hike. I was like, yeah. "But I'm a Guinness drinker now," yeah. and. Anyway, <laughs> this is the best advertisement I can give you, Bob. I went, I would drink that instead of Guinness if I had to. It's nice. And that, I, I mean, no, no, no. Take the if I had to no, no. out of it. This is real. Ruin. No, this is real <laughs> marketing. It's very hard to fight Guinness. Like, yeah. it, if I went in, I would, I'd would. i be like, is, sure, it, a, sure, is it a creamy vine? It's lovely. It is absolutely is lovely. Is it creamy, though? Yes, it is creamy. I swear. Okay. I swear it is actually creamy. Okay. I drank it and went... I would drink that if I had to drink that. I have drank some other stouts like, nah. I will now attend. You always go, nah. It's not I'll Guinness. go straight to Maeve's now and I'll try it. Try it. Everyone go out and try that, the portrait inside in Maeve's. Yeah. That's that good marketing right now. You did well there. There you go. Uh, Ray, that's it. Fair play to me. And fair play to me. Good luck. Good luck. The Kendi and Rainbow Podcast. Sponsored by Maeve's Cozy Front Lounge. And the Gekka Caravogue.